And there are also implications of, on uh, AI ethics. For example, when we were playtesting the game in our team, one of our colleagues from King Software, uh, from Good AI, he, uh, he actually told us in the feedback that he feels uncomfortable to, if he has to kill the agent who can speak. So this is for me very interesting because maybe we are getting to a, to a times where now you are playing Call of Duty and you are killing, you don't think about those people. But you know, when you can speak with them and you know that they have some simulated emotions, feelings, thoughts, memories and everything, maybe you will not be so happy in killing them. So I think this will be a really interesting uh, change. Because in some sense, they are, these agents are people too. And uh, another funny thing is that uh, in AI field or AI research, everybody is talking about how to make language models or these large models, how to make them non-toxic and uh, non-biased, you know, and like not being racist and all these things. But in our situation, actually, we want to create evil AI because evil AI is very interesting for, for game development and for, for entertainment and for drama. You cannot have a game, you know, a story-driven game where there is a villain and he just doesn't behave like a villain should. So we actually want the agents to be, to be bad people sometimes.